The world of tech moves very fast and the world of drama moves even faster, but the world of tech drama moves the fastest. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday I released a video called How to Destroy a Community and Your Reputation WordPress Gone Too Far, where it summarizes the current situation with WordPress.org, WP Engine, and Automatic, and the CEO of Automatic and the original co-author of WordPress, Matt Mullenweg. The situation, as sad as it is, basically revolves around Matt going on this tyrannical spree where he is blocking everyone who is defending WP Engine, blocking WP Engine from WordPress, which includes all the plugins and work that contributors do, stealing the work of other contributors and making it owned by WordPress.org, as well as just acting in a manner that makes WordPress look terrible. And these actions have gone the intention of everybody in the community. So much so that even people like DHH have gone up to make a really good blog post here. And if you want to read this blog post, I'll leave it in the description in this video. But this basically says an open source royalty and mad kinks. Now, DHH starts off his blog post by saying Matt Mullenweg has earned his crown in the land of WordPress. He created the system and for 20 years has been its prime champion and cheerleader. His achievements are obvious. Half the damn internet runs on WordPress. There's an industry worth billions feeding theme designers, plugin makers, hosting companies, and Matt's own automatic enterprise. It's a first rate open source success story. It absolutely is and nobody's arguing it, but it even makes this whole situation of what happened that much more heartbreaking. So DHH continues to summarize the situation, but he talks about the most recent escalation. And in my opinion, the most unhinged is the expropriation of the ACF plugin. Automatic first answered WPE's lawsuit by blocking engineers from the latter from accessing the WordPress.org plugin registry, which is used to distribute updates and security patches. It then used the fact that WPE no longer had access to the registry to expropriate the plugin, including reviews and download stats. The ACF entry now points to Automatic's own secure custom fields, which basically means they took it. Weaponizing open source code registers is something we simply cannot allow to form precedents. They must remain neutral territory, like Switzerland in a world of constant commercial skirmishes. So he finishes off by saying, so while I always try to keep things from getting personal, I'll break practice to make this plea. Matt, don't turn into a mad king. I hold your work in WordPress and beyond in the highest esteem, and I recognize the temptation of gratitude grievances arising from beneficiaries getting more from our work than they return in contributions. But that must remain a moral critique, not a commercial crusade. You can't just extract by force that which you believe to be owed beyond the license agreement on a whim. Now, I personally thought that, that was a very good unbiased letter from DHH who in his own right, is potentially seen in the news or in the world of controversy. But I think that was very based. That was a very good take. And obviously, to, I guess, no surprise, Matt responded. Response to DHH. Now, before I click on this, I want to state that DHH said, maybe I'm supposed to get mad at this, but instead, I just get sad. Mullenweg clearly sees it as a failure to create much more value in the world than what you capture. And maybe that's the root of our differences. I see that as a proud achievement. So when you click on this current link, you'll see that response to DHH, I've taken this post down. I've been attacked so much the past few days. The most vicious, personal, hateful words poisoned my brain and the original version of this post was mean. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't let this stuff get to me, but it clearly did. And I took it out on DHH who, while I disagree with him on several points, isn't the actual villain in the story. It's WP Engine and Silver Lake. So I think this is already a good post and to talk about Matt, about how he already took it down. However, I do want to highlight the things that were said in the original post. So I think the points here are clearly obvious, come from a very toxic place from Matt's perspective. I think it makes sense why he took this down and why other people gave this post the reaction it got. However, a few points I want to go about is the last one here. I don't think open source is measured by how many lines you contribute or how many write, lines you write. Nor do I think open source really is about 
having ownership in something and making sure making sure that everybody knows you are the original owner and you have gone the most squeeze out of whatever you created. And that squeeze in the context of this post being around money or revenue. I think you can contribute to open source any way you want. It doesn't have to be about the lines. You can create something and once it's out there, you basically allow people to come in, work on it, contribute to it, and they have to abide by the license. But in terms of Rails, there's nothing wrong with Shopify seeing the potential and the ability Rails gives its engineers and then taking it and building a company around it. I don't necessarily think Shopify owes anything to Rails unless they break a licensing agreement, which I don't think they have. So overall, I think this is a very wicked post. I think it really shows the downside of open source contributing in such a way because there are people who have this mentality who think that even though it's open source that they are the owner and they deserve or are owed the most out of the contribution financially so if you use it and you make ten dollars you owe some of that to the original author of whatever you forked spun off or whatever it is now i'm not going to get into the situation of wordpress and wp engine but i did want to summarize this article here between DHH and Matt Mullenweg. Thankfully, Matt came back, cooled off, and took it down. But as you can see, before you make a post like this, make sure you're in a cool, calm-headed state because uh, it can get dirty. But you can see here, Mullenweg has taken down the original post. I'm glad to see it. It's hard to come off looking sharp when lashing out in anger. Ask me how I know, which DHH, DHH looks just based in this. I mean, he looks great in this exchange. I'm happy that they've been able to uh, talk in private uh, and I'm happy this is gone. But I just wanted to give you guys an update of the current status of what happened. If you saw this flowing around, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.